Hi, welcome to the New Wave Cooking Club. I'm Jennifer, the executive chef for New Wave Oven. Today I'm going to do a taco pie casserole. Basically, it's a, a dip, and we all have our own versions, so I'm going to show you mine. I take browned meat, ground beef. I use an 80-20, which means 80% meat, 20% fat in it, and then I drain it. Take some, a can of refried beans. A cup of your favorite salsa. We like a, we use a black bean and corn, but you can use anything that you like. And just mix this all up. Then you're gonna add taco seasoning, a half of one of those flavor packets. That's what we use, a half. And then just a little bit of water because we're gonna put these on crunched up taco chips. So it seems like, oh, it's a little bit soggy, but it's gonna work out perfectly. And there's our other taco dip done. So what I do is I like to take a little bit of black beans, just run them on the bottom along with my crushed up taco shells. I find this is great for those extra, you know, you've got a few little crunchies on the bottom of your bag. And I had a viewer write in to me about a tip that she puts her potato chips or taco chips that have been in the pantry too long, two minutes on an oven safe dish, power level high on the one inch rack, and it re, um, it makes her chips fresh again. So a nice little tip I, or tip I learned this week. All right, and just place it on top. Just smash it down. Now, I did the other one in an eight by eight. I'm using our 10 inch pan from our extender ring kit. Then I just take, oh, about a half of a eight ounce bag of cheese, or you know, if you like a lot, Go ahead and do a lot. And you can make this low fat by using the low fat cheese. This is one of those recipes that actually takes good low fat because with all the other ingredients, it's just full of lots of flavor. Then just because I like to make everything look nice, I put a little black beans on the top. This is optional. And some kidney beans. All right, whoops. Okay, let me rinse my hands. Now, what we do, one inch rack, between 10 and 12 minutes, depending on how brown you like your cheese. I'm gonna give it 10 minutes. So it's touch and go. Cook time, one zero, start. Remember, our oven always starts on power level high. Let's go over here and look at the one that I've got done. these out of the way. And this is one of those great dips that you can make ahead of time also. Put it in your refrigerator, even oh, one or two days ahead. Look at this, isn't it beautiful? And this will, like I said, will fit in an eight by eight or a 10 inch or even a pie pan. I serve some taco chips along with it, some guacamole, and you've got a great party dip. So until next time.